All right, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Moving right along. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2, no, verses 3 and 4. No, verses, just verse 3 and 5. Yeah, we're going to do it like that. Okay. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And showing mercy, verse 6, showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. I want to challenge you with something. I know I really did a lot of venting, but I want to ask you, I, I want to pose something to you, kind of give you a proposition. First of all, I want to ask you why do you put up with some of the stuff you do? And after you put up with some of the stuff you do, why do you come back for more? What drives you to settle, 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 and settle some more? This is both male and female. I'm challenging everybody because there are male and female that are victimized by the, sedu the, the, the sadistic people I just talked about in the last video. Some of you have hooked up with law enforcement. Some of you have hooked up with an idiot who slaps you every time they want to have a temper tantrum. Whether they're male or female, whether they're your wife or your husband, they have a temper they have a temper tantrum, and you're the one that comes up with a black eye or a, or a swollen jaw or a broken bone or a knife cutting your arm. I mean, you're the one who ends up in the hospital. And when you get in the hospital, you cover for them. Then after you cover for them, you come back and serve them some more and you bow and you bow and you bow you pay homage yes master i love you master please don't beat me this time master i'll do what you want i'll do a better job master why why do you go back why do you settle? Are you so afraid of being alone that you would rather be beaten into the ground and die being beaten, being disrespected? You know, a friend of mine and I were talking last night and that conversation inspired this video. She talked about how she watched a man mistreat this woman who was a friend of hers and he would say things blatantly say things like this <laughs> i don't know you know what you're tripping off i'm not taking you anywhere no i don't know if you notice i'd never take you around my friends and my no there's no way i would take you around not the way you look but to stick in your peck in the hole every time she parts those legs. She's good enough to screw. She's good enough to beat, but she's not good enough to be around your family and friends. I asked the woman who is with somebody that says stuff like that to you, what the heck are you thinking? Don't you think God has more for you than that? If you need to be bowing to anybody, it needs to be God. 
because you have made a God out of a, um, how can I say? You have created a God out of a brutal beast that thinks nothing of you, that treats you like dirt. Now, you men, you, you have a materialistic wife. She fusses at you if you don't make enough for her to spend more money on herself, on frivolous things, on trips, treating her girlfriends on vacations that you're not even welcome to. Now, I just got that, so I know I'm talking to somebody. I never thought of that. Somebody is listening. You are mistreated. You're disrespected. You're dissed in front of her friends. They talk about you like you're a dog. They laugh at you right in your face. She tells you you're not a man. She makes fun of you. She talks about your body parts like, I mean, just totally humiliate you. You get up every morning. You don't say anything. You get up every morning. You go to work and you bust your behind trying to make a way for her to be in this mansion driving all these fancy cars and wearing these fancy clothes so she can treat you worse than the crap that comes out of her behind. And you are still there. Stop bowing stop worshiping if you have to lose everything it's worth you keeping your dignity it's worth you keeping your disres i mean your your self respect it's worth keeping your self respect your love for yourself your, your self-esteem, it's worth that. Kick girlfriend to the curb. If she's got you tied up in knots legally, let her have it all and walk away. Start all over again and live a life of freedom. God will place somebody in your life who truly loves you, respects you, admires you actually likes you why have you handcuffed yourself you're paying homage to an idiot of an idol that's not even worth the dime it takes to put her in there I mean, come on, think, think. Would you like your own daughter to be treated like that? Would you like your own son to be treated like that? Then why do you subject yourself to it? Why? And here's the sad part. When she gets through dissing you, I bet your kids treat you like crap too. I bet they talk to you like you're nothing. And what do you do? You swallow it, and you keep on trucking. You keep on working. You have no life of your own. You don't get to socialize. Because when you do have a free moment, they need you to do this, that, and the other for them. But nobody's thinking about what they can do for you. Do you really think God wants you to exist like that? Think again, baby. Go to God for a plan, for a game plan. He will help you. We all make mistakes. We all play dumb diddy dum dum and, and, and we get hooked up with some sorry folks in our lives. But if you get stuck being married to one and they have your children and they have hooks into your balls financially, the only way for you to get free is take it all off and leave it and start from scratch. Walk away buck naked if you have to. 
But get your freedom. Get your dignity back. Because God wants you to enjoy real love. See, when God talks about not having any other gods before him, God is the only one that will meet our needs. But we look to people to meet those deep-seated needs. Maybe you were made fun of when you were a kid. Maybe you were abused by your parents or neglected. It doesn't mean that that is your lot. It doesn't mean that you're supposed to be treated that way, that you don't deserve love. No. God wants to give you his best. But you know, let me put it in human terms. If I want to bless you, and every time I want to bless you, you're so busy running after somebody that's treating you like crap. After a while, I'm like, well, I'm not going to waste my money and time trying to help him out because he's just going to waste it on them. And I sure don't want to bless them. You've got to choose. Choose you this day. Whom will you serve? And if you are wise enough to choose the Lord, t take my word for it. All that hurt, all that humiliation that you had to suffer through and endure, God will replace it with joy, with life, with love, with purpose, with dignity, and He'll hook a brother up. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. And God will give you the real thing. Just recognize it when you see it. And cherish it. Don't you start abusing. No, 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 no. But you first must fall in love with God. Turn to him with all your heart. Both victims, male and female, turn to God with all your heart and allow him to refurbish everything in your heart and your life. You'll see what I mean. One day you call me up, you know, you know how they say send me the bill? Yeah, one day you'll call me up. Girl, let me make you rich. Let me tell you what God did for me. I'm clowning. But listen, you need to go to God while you still have a mind to reason your way out of this thing. Because if you go in too deep, I'm going to give you this last warning. You be like the elephants that they train with a chain on their, on their I think it's their rear leg. They try to get away. And they're cutting themselves on the chain and they're trying to get away. It's tied to this cemented post that, that they can't break. And after I think I think I'm correct, after three days of trying to get away, they can take the chain off. The elephant won't try to run. He's bound right here. He can go anywhere he wants, but he won't. Because in his mind, there's no way out. Don't go there. Get out while you can.